in this lesson we are going to learn about crystal structures okay so the science that deals with crystal structures or the science that deals with arrangement of atoms in a solid is known as crystallography okay so what is crystallography it is the science that deals with arrangement of atoms in solids okay so that's your crystallography we are going to learn about what are the different types of crystals that we have and how do we analyze crystals okay so look we are talking about arrangement of atoms in solids okay so based on arrangement of atoms in solids we can have broadly two types of solids okay we could have a crystalline solid okay or a crystal and we can have a amorphous solid okay so in your amorphous ous okay so in your crystalline solids what happens is your atoms are arranged in a regular fashion okay so you can very well describe a minimal repeating pattern okay and this particular pattern would be repeated in every direction and based on this pattern you can describe the properties of this crystalline solid okay so it could be something like this you could have x y z a okay so this is the repeating pattern okay so your elements or your atoms are arranged in this fashion it would be repeating so it would be x y z a x y z a x y z a and so on okay so this is the minimal repeating pattern and on the basis of this you can describe or interpret many different properties of your crystalline solids okay while in your amorphous solid you do not have a regular fashion of arrangement okay so over here your atoms are arranged in a random order okay a crystalline solid is said to be having a long range order okay what do we mean by long range order it basically means that your pattern is same across long distances within the solid we are talking about microscopic distances obviously so this pattern remains the same along a long range within the solid okay while in an amorphous solid there is no such pattern there is random arrangement of atoms okay in a crystalline solid you have a regular arrangement of atoms okay so basically we are going to learn about crystalline solids okay just understand one thing it's not going to be the case that your element can exist only in either amorphous or crystalline form okay it can exist in both of the forms under different scenarios okay so one such example is silicon okay it exists both as an amorphous solid and as a crystalline solid okay generally your amorphous solids are also known as super cooled liquids okay let's see how or let's see why so an example of a amorphous solid is glass okay so if you heat the glass it becomes a liquid okay it becomes a highly viscous liquid and if this highly viscous liquid is allowed to cool it rapidly crystallizes okay since this liquid rapidly crystallizes or rapidly solidifies the elements do not have enough time to arrange in the most favorable fashion okay since they do not have enough time to arrange in the most favorable fashion they end up arranging themselves in a random fashion and hence they become amorphous 